This video is sponsored by DistroKid. Save 7% on your first year membership by visiting the link in the description of the video. It's your boy John Mike. What up with you guys, you know who it is. It's your boy, Jean Michael, uh, and I am back again with something absolutely amazing. You know, everything that I do and I talk about on this channel is absolutely amazing. That's just me. If it's not amazing, I don't want to talk about it. So we're going to talk about five, five amazing things about the Raven Core Station. So I recently added this to my setup, to my home studio. I have it in my basement and I rock with, you know, been rocking with a regular kind of desk and a regular kind of setup that most kind of bedroom producers use. So I thought like I wanted to step it up a whole nother notch. So I decided to go ahead and grab uh, this I've been looking at it for years and finally decided to pull the trigger So uh, there are some things that are really great about it and there's some things that are not so great about it But in this video, we're going to talk about the five most amazing things about this Numero uno is the touchscreen This is probably the best thing about it and the reason why I bought it and why most of you are probably interested in it It turns your uh, computer whether it's a Mac or a PC if you live in any one of those worlds uh, into a full touchscreen environment. Now I know Windows computers have been touch based for years, but it's really, really dope in my opinion to have uh, a touchscreen Mac where I can actually interact with the DAW, interact with my plugins, uh, and even outside of the DAW, I can even touch and do things uh, in the regular operating system and it functions. It basically turns the my Mac into two big 27 inch iPads. That's basically what it does. It gives you like, like two big iPads like you're working on and they function and they operate like an iPad. So scrolling with two fingers, everything that you would expect kind of works uh, the way you would as if you were working like on an iPad. So the people at Slate were really intentional about this user interface and how it works because they know we're in a touchscreen world. You know what I mean? Like our phones are touchscreens, our tablets, our iPads. So um, even though Mac OS hasn't gotten to that touchscreen level yet, uh, I know it's going there, so they're kind of ahead of the game and giving you this whole kind of touchscreen environment to kind of work in. And I think that's really, really like the dopest thing about it. Number two is the look and feel. Uh, so this really upgrades your entire look and feel of your studio. This was one of the main other reasons why I bought this because it really upgrades you from, and I don't want to really talk about the bedroom producers like that, you know, but it upgrades you from the bedroom producer status and really gives you a more professional kind of polished look for your studio and for your room. Now, bedroom producers, you know, you know, Lil Nas X, all that stuff like that, but, you know, bedroom producers are where it's at in this day. But I feel like if I'm going to be a bedroom producer, then I want to be the best looking bedroom producer. You know, when you look at my situation, when you walk in the room, it instantly gives you that vibe of, oh, I'm in a professional environment. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just by me buying it and me shooting some some shots and posting them on, you know, my social media and stuff like that. Instantly, I started getting inboxes like how much do you charge? What are your rates? You know, whatever I've already I'll be honest with the projects I've done in the month that I've had this. I've already paid for and made profit of what I made back what I what I spent on this. So, uh, you know, now results may vary. <laughs> results may vary. I'm not going to say that you go buy this and then a month later you go have your money back. That, that don't 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 disclaimer. Don't come back, you know, and say John Mike I want my money back cuz you said this. That's just my particular situation. I did some posts and I instantly got some calls and it and it did that. Now, the clients that have came in since I bought this, it instantly gives them that wow figure feel. You know, it's like when they walk in and they see it it's like Wow. And they want to take pictures and they want to like do screen, uh, you know, stories, you know, records of their stories to drop in their Instagram and Snapchat and stuff like that, which in turn is free marketing for you because they want to see they want to show that they're in a professional environment. People like attention. They like to be showing that they're doing something that they're in an environment. So, you know, you, you this just upgrades the entire look and feel 
of what you're doing. It get, gives you in a puts you in a class with the big boys, in my opinion. This is my opinion. You can take it for what it's worth, and it's not worth much, you know, in that term. You can't sell my words, but you know, you can use that. So number three is the batch commander. This is Slate's proprietary software that works on uh, the Ravens or what have you. Now, it doesn't come installed on the screen. There's actually no software installed on the screens itself. It actually installs on your computer and then you can use it in function inside of your DAW like Pro Tools, Studio One, Logic, Ableton, Cubase, all of the DAWs that they support. Uh, but what it does is it allows you to like do what they call batch commands. It's a group of commands that are assigned to one button. So their claim is that you can do up to a thousand batch commands with one button. Now, maybe one day on this channel, we'll test that out. We're actually, I think that'll be a pretty fun video to try to see if we can do a thousand commands with one button. I think that would be interesting to see if that'll work. But that's what they, they say and they kind of claim that it can do. We'll try to test that. So it relegates all of your key commands and all of the necessary things that you, you know, need to do in your DAW. You can either assign them as custom uh, or, you know, they have built in ones that you can use and work like that. And then the dope part about it is you can actually record your own uh, like batch commands using your mouse. So I can record like EQ moves with my mouse, things that I would do with my mouse. I can record that. I can record like moving faders, anything that's on the screen that I do with my mouse or can point to or click on, I can actually record that. If there's something that I do commonly, I can create my own batch command. And I think that is just really, really dope. And I'm gonna be doing a video that's specifically dedicated to just the batch command uh, and how it works and how you can assign these different things and create your own. So we're gonna do a separate video just on that because I could spend all day just talking about the batch commander. But it's a really, really dope addition to uh, the Slate Raven. I hate to jump in real quick in the middle of this video, but I need to take a second and tell you really quickly about our sponsors. DistroKid is a distribution service for musicians, producers, independent artists to distribute their music online, cut out the middleman, the record label, and keep 100% of all of their royalties. What sets them apart from others is that they allow you to upload as much as you want just by paying a simple $20 yearly fee. They don't take any of your royalties, they don't charge you per release, per year, just one simple $20 yearly membership to put your music on every digital platform out there. Distro Kit has tons of features that take it from being just a distribution platform, like the ability to create teams where you can pay your collaborators royalties for being on the record, getting the verified Spotify page, social features like Hyperfollow, and the ability to upload sync lyrics to Apple Music. So we have partnered with DistroKid to bring you an amazing offer. You can get 7% off your yearly membership just by going to http colon slash slash distrokid.com backslash VIP backslash John Mike. You'll find that link down in the description and in the comments of this video. Thank you DistroKid for sponsoring this video and thank you to everyone else for using the link and supporting this channel. Now back to the video. The number four thing that's really, really dope about this and absolutely amazing is the external mixer. Uh, so what they have done is created like a software based um, external mixer that links with your DAW mixer. So you can pull this up at any moment just by pressing a button on the batch commander uh, to bring up your external mixer. And what it does is it gives you like full screen faders because you know inside of your DAW, whether you're working in Pro Tools or Studio One or any of them, the, the faders are like really, really small because they weren't made or designed for a touch base environment. They're designed for a mouse click. But so Slate thought about that and they said, we're going to give you an external mixer that has big full size faders on it, just like you would have on a console. Um, they give you those same size, 100 millimeter faders, whatever it is, that's that same size. So it's like reaching when you reach up and you touch a fader, it's literally like touching a fader on an actual console. And it gives you that graphical you know, uh, interface and that graphical look that you're actually working on a real console. So I think that's really, really cool. Now, another cool thing about the screens, and this kind of goes back to the touch part, but it also kind of coincides with the mixer itself. There is a level of resistance to the screen. Like this isn't like a smooth, um, this isn't like a smooth, smooth surface like that. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's some, you can feel the resistance as you're moving your finger 
across the screen. Uh, so it's not like a standard, like dead piece of glass. You know what I mean? It actually has like a level. Now it doesn't have like haptic touch or anything, which I think that would be a dope upgrade. You know, Slate, if you decide to, you know, do that, you know, and you decided to do it after watching this video, you know, I just want 2%, just 2%, like I like my milk. So there's some resistance that kind of gives, you know, that you get to this. Not haptic feedback, but it's like a resistance, so to speak. It doesn't feel like you're, you're touching a real fader by any stretch of means, but it is like a certain like level of satisfaction that you feel from pushing up a fader. And the dope part about it is that it's multi-touch, so I can you know, grab multiple faders if I want to. I can grab six faders if I can grab them with all my hands, just like I would on a real console. So I think that's really, really dope. You can swipe to mute, you can swipe to solo, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's just really, really dope. And it's really, really responsive, responsive. There's no latency, um, you know, that I can feel if it is, uh, I can't really tell that there's latency that really just kind of responds to the touch uh, and you can record arm, you can do your input monitoring, you can even write automation, which is one of the really, really dope parts about it. And I'll get into that because I'll do a video again just on the external mixer, which is really, really dope because they have a fine fader mode, which allows you to write some really, really uh, intricate volume automation you know so we'll get into that in a different video but this is another really amazing part of the slate console so the number five and last thing is actually the slate remote app now this is an app that they make that works on iphone ipad i'm not sure if it works on android i haven't done that research to be honest i don't have an android device to test it on even if i if it does but i know for sure it works on ios and ipad so this is basically an extension of the batch commander that's basically what it is. It gives you uh, another layer that you can kind of jump through of all of your different batch commands that you have set up. While this, why this is cool is for a couple of reasons. One for maybe those who record themselves. Maybe you have a live room and you want to go in your live room and you want to utilize um, uh, and operate your console, or operate your computer uh, remotely, you know, from your iPad or your iPhone. You can do that using this Slate remote app. Um, you know, or uh, maybe you want to utilize this as another extension of a screen for the batch commander. So when, with the batch, because with the batch commander, when I am adding in different racks and stuff for more commands, it takes up more screen real estate. The more like levels of racks that I add, the more screen real estate it takes up. And of course, if you're taking up screen real estate, that's less room you have for your arrangement, less room you have for your plugins and things you got on the screen. So having the Slate Remote app handy where you can actually put some more batch commands and stuff on them, it gives you another like window another touch window basically to operate on. So I'll be doing another kind of full in-depth video just on the Slate remote and how it functions and how you can utilize it in your workflow and how I added in my workflow. But this is really, really dope all together. So all in all, this is absolutely amazing. As you can see, it looks amazing. It feels amazing. It functions amazingly uh, in my setup and everything that I'm doing. And since I got it, it is like really took my workflow and everything like 100 fold, just in my opinion. Now, I'm gonna be doing another video uh, where I'm gonna be telling you the things that I don't like about it. And I think that's gonna be really, really cool as well to see because it's not perfect. There are, there are some things with it that I, I do. There are some quirks and some grievances that I do have. And I'm gonna express those as well in a very unbiased, unsponsored, you know, just honest review. I'm gonna tell you the problems and what I wish somebody would have told me uh, before I bought this. Uh, so we're gonna do that in a separate video, but uh, you know how we do on this video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. Check out affiliate links and all that stuff in the description of the video. We'll talk to you guys on the next video. I'm out. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Holla at your boy.